The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Now a man was ill, Lazarus, from Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. Mary was the one who had anointed the Lord with perfumed oil and dried his feet with her hair. It was her brother Lazarus who was ill. So the sisters sent word to Jesus saying, Master, the one you love is ill. When Jesus heard this, he said, this illness is not to end in death, but is for the glory of God, that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So when he heard that he was ill, he remained for two days in the place where he was. Then after this, he says to his disciples, let us go back to Judea. The disciples said, Rabbi, the Jews were just trying to stone you, and you want to go back there? Jesus answered, are there not 12 hours in a day? If one walks during the day, he does not stumble, because he sees the light of this world. But if one walks at night, he stumbles, because the light is not in him. He said this and then told them, our friend Lazarus is asleep, but I am going to awaken him. So the disciples said to him, Master, if he is asleep, he will be saved. But Jesus was talking about his death while they thought he meant ordinary sleep. So then Jesus said to them clearly, Lazarus has died, and I am glad for you that I was not there, that you may believe. Let us go to him. So Thomas, called Didymus, said to his fellow disciples, let us also go to die with him. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Now Bethany was near Jerusalem, only about two miles away. And many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them about their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him. But Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise. Martha said to him, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, yes, Lord, I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. When she had said this, she went and called her sister Mary secretly, saying, the teacher is here and is asking for you. As soon as she heard this, she rose quickly and went to him, for Jesus had not yet come into the village, but was still where Martha had met him. So when the Jews who were with her in the house comforting her saw Mary get up quickly and go out, they followed her, presuming that she was going to the tomb to weep there. When Mary came to where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. <clears throat> when Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who had come with her weeping, he became perturbed and deeply troubled and said, where have you laid him? They said to him, sir, come and see. And Jesus wept. So the Jews said, see how he loved him. But some of them said, could not the one who opened the eyes of the blind man have done something so this man would not have died. So Jesus, perturbed again, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone lay across it. Jesus said, take away the stone. Martha, the dead man's sister, said to him, Lord, by now there will be a stench. He has been dead for four days. Jesus said to her, did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. And Jesus raised his eyes and said, Father, I thank you for hearing me. I know that you always hear me. But because of the crowd here, I have said this, that they may believe that you sent me. And when he had said this, he cried out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, tied hand and foot with burial bands, and his face was wrapped in a cloth. So Jesus said to them, untie him and let him go. Now many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what he had done, 
began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> the raising of Lazarus is the seventh and last of the signs Jesus performed in the Gospel of John. It's the greatest of those signs that pointed to Jesus as the Messiah. The signs called people to believe, to believe in Jesus. Now, we have to be clear about one thing. As great as this sign was, it was resuscitation, not resurrection. Lazarus was called back to life in this world. It wasn't resurrection to new life. That's why Jesus waited two days when he heard that Lazarus was ill. Just healing Lazarus wouldn't be enough to, for the people to believe. He had to call Lazarus back to life from death. It was out of love that Jesus waited Love so the people would come to believe. It didn't seem that way, but it was. So the people would come to believe. Because Lazarus was called back to life in this world, Jesus said, untie him and let him go. There are many things in this life that entomb us or bind us. When we die, those things are left behind but we struggle with them in this world. There are ways we entomb or bind ourselves, and there are ways we entomb or bind others. We entomb ourselves by our fears, our guilt, our shame, and our anger. Bad experiences make us afraid, and they hold us back. Guilt or shame make us hesitant to get involved in, in, in things. Our anger can so consume us that it's all we can see. We can be bound by our prejudice, or our, our own expectations, or those of others. Our prejudice of others can limit us and lessen us. Our others' prejudice about us can hold us, can keep us down. Too high of expectations of ourselves or of others can become a burden. Too low of expectations can not motivate us. Jesus calls us to come out, to leave behind. We have to let go of these things. Sometimes we have to untie ourselves, and sometimes we have to have others untie us, and we have to untie them. That's the only way we can move forward. Jesus called Lazarus back to life in this world. But, and he calls Lazarus and all of us to live life the best that we can. In order to do that, we have to let go of every, anything that binds us or limits us. That's the only way we can live fully and use the gifts that God has given us. One day... We will be called home to live in the fullness of life, of new life. But every day, we are called to live life as fully as we can. To come out of anything that entombs us. To leave behind anything that binds us. And to live in the freedom and love of the children of God. <clears throat> 